All right, uh, this is about thermal light delays in older garage door openers. Um, basically, uh, first thing, if you're ever going to do any maintenance or something on this thing, um, on these older units, make sure that you unplug these units. Uh, I learned this the hard way uh, twice now with my 65... 655000, I was installing the uh, wall button, and I had I was sitting on this ladder here, and I had uh, I was holding on to that metal strap, and I was screwing the screw on for the wall button, and when I got to the other terminal, my hand touched the metal, and I got zapped with 24 volts, and just now I got zapped with 120 volts. Um, I was trying to show how this worked, and I was touching the ground plate on the pulley here and I accidentally brushed up against one of the contacts on the thermal light delay. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm alright, don't worry about me. Uh, just be careful and I've learned my lesson. I should, you know, really make sure again before I do this. Anyway, uh, now that I'm sure it's unplugged. Yeah. Just checking. Um, basically this is about the thermal light delays in garage door openers. Uh, from the 70s, and I think the early 80s units still had some of these. Uh, but basically, the two black wires, you see there's three terminals for the thermal light delay. The two black wires are hooked up to these two terminals here. Alright? Now what happens is this blue wire is hooked up to the motor run circuit. And what that does is when the motor runs, it heats up this coil, and this wire starts bending over and makes a connection there and you know it just keeps bending over so you can see there's a gap in it right now because this is not heated it creates heat and that creates it to bend over and touch this other contact um, so yeah then the two black wires are connected one is the power and one is the out to the light socket um, those might be reversed I don't don't quote me on that uh, but then this acts as a positive uh, the, the middle is like a common terminal then you have light and motor run. So basically when it's all running, all three are kind of connected. But, um, yeah. I really, uh, I find this intriguing how they figured this out and got it done. Uh, it works very well. Um, lasts about 90 seconds if, you're, uh, if it's a newer one. Uh, I just got done setting the limits on this thing again because I put a different door arm on it. It's just a Stanley spring-loaded arm. But, yeah, let's run this down, and I'll show you just how this stuff works. Plug it in. Make sure I don't touch anything on the opener circuit. But, yeah, seriously, make sure you unplug these things, because there's... That's the two ways that I know that I've gotten electrocuted with these things, and there's probably more. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just push the button here on the wall control. I'll try and focus you on this here. Okay. Heat it up, made a little spark. And it's off. In a few seconds you'll be able to see that it's slowly coming back. Actually you can see it now. If I can hold the damn camera still. So you can see it's moving back, but it's still making contact between those two terminals. When it goes back far enough, the light will it'll disconnect and the light will shut off. It moved. Sorry, I had a lot of memory in my phone. Uh, I ran the door back up and I just waited. It's about to shut off. Here we go. Light just shut off. 